G'day everybody and welcome to another YouTube video review. As promised, we're going to be having a look at the Overkill character, or Overkill the Destroyer, from the Adventures of Spawn. Um, another character I picked up, again, Toys, Toy World, not Toys R Us. Uh, near where I live, uh, has these guys on sale. They've been on sale for a while, about 20 bucks each. And I uh, thought another couple of weeks had gone by and I'd saved my penny, so it was time to add another character to the collection. So. We'll have a, a look at uh, Overkill for you, so I'll give you a bit of background on him. He's part human, part robot, and he's the world's most notorious arms dealer in the association with Mammon and the forces of darkness. Um, basically, he's gained his first artificial upgrade as part of a clandestine government project titled Codename. And uh, his abilities allow him to have enhanced strength and stamina. He's bulletproof, near indestructible, and his fists can be replaced with an assortment of deadly blades and weapons. So uh, you can see there straight away one of his fists is a uh, double-sided golden axe. Um, we also have a chainsaw attachment that you can use so you can take off his other fist as well. So you can see there's one of his fists. It's actually a large fist, quite a, an imposing fist I suppose. And if that punched you, you'd probably hurt. So, But you can actually then put the chainsaw on that arm or you can have the chainsaw on, on there, whichever one you like. So there's his attachments. Uh, on the side of the head there you can see we uh, have sort of like a, a radio device that just clips onto his ear. You can take it off if you want and have him with his, uh, his ear showing. And then his uh, facial features, quite defined and well, well sculpted. So um, really for 20 bucks it's a fantastic figure. Reduced about half price, usually it's about $40, $50. Uh, the ex his arms and legs do uh, rotate at the, uh, the shoulders and at the, uh, the hip and that's about it. Comes with the stand, has a foot peg which allows him to stand upright. I'll just spin him around there so you can see he has the, the two tubes coming out of his neck and around into the uh, sort of pockets that are on his belt. Has some, uh, some detailing on the back of his legs there. He really is quite a large figure when uh, you compare him to um, the Spawn figure. He, uh, he really does overshadow him, that huge large torso, the big fists, the skinny legs, but that just uh, allows him to stand out. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed that review. If you're a bit of an adventure with Spawn fan, or just a Spawn fan in general, or you just sort of look like and have those sort of imposing villainous characters on your shelf, I uh, really recommend if you're near a, a Toys R Us, or sorry, not a Toys R Us, a Toy World, Mr. Toys Toy World here in Australia, then uh, check them out. Anyway, thanks for watching. Keep subscribing, keep telling your friends if uh, they're toy collectors too. I really appreciate all the subscription and the comments. And if you hang around, or if you haven't already seen it, I'll soon be having a review up of my Luke Skywalker custom mighty mode. So hang around for that one. And again, thanks for watching. Cheers.